What's your question? You don't think Eminem Hold is on, one of the best rappers of all time? According to who? You. Rap fan. Let me say something to you. And this is going to my African fundamentalism. No non-African can ever be the best of anything African. It is an insult to the ancestors, it is an insult to the race, and it is an insult to every black person. Do you think I could go to Palestine and be the best anything of Palestinian culture? You never see that. You think I could go to, go to Israel and be the best of anything in Israel, whether it be a cook, an instrumentalist, a dancer? Hell no. And we have to stop yeah, but naming non-African people, Joe. But I disagree. Stay with me, though. Let me finish this. We got to stop naming non-African people as being the best of any aspect of our cultural product Joe, I think you because can. it is an insult. You can. It is an insult. We can acknowledge that the talent is the best. Yes, but, I can but, acknowledge but, Eminem's title. We should, he's, but let me tell you. Go ahead. What, what, For you to put I him think. at the top, but that's, but that's, that's white it. supremacy. Let me tell you this. That's white supremacy. What's, what's white culture? I don't see Eminem yeah. building no so, schools and hospitals. I don't see DJ Khaled building no schools and hospitals. I don't see DJ Vlad building no damn banks and supermarkets. Yo, I'm asking Vlad. Hell no. Ain't no... What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right, Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. How the hell are you going to let an outsider come into your culture and then brand him the best of all time? See, that's the slave in you talking. That's your white Jesus condition. are always looking for a white Jesus. I'm not talking about the Bible. And I'm not talking about the black Christ. I'm talking about the white counterfeit version they gave you. And so black people have this low self-esteem need to always make white people feel extra comfortable. This is why whenever we fight for black justice, we never keep the conversation focused on us. Right. Every time you hear Negro talk about black injustice, they got to start mentioning other people. Yeah. Right. Comments on the Joe Button podcast was about business, not personal. The business of protecting the sacredness, authenticity, and integrity of African culture. I said that no non-African can ever be the best of anything in African culture. You can't be the best cook of African food. You can't be the best rapper of African hip hop. You can't be the best singer. You can't be the best priest of African culture. Nothing we create can a non-African be the best at. First of all, it makes absolutely no sense at all. I don't even see how an African can come to the conclusion that a non-African can be the best at anything when we are the oldest people. We are the first people and we are the most numerous people. So when you say a non-African is better at X, Y, and Z than a member of the race, you're saying that this person can do this better than two billion Africans or you're saying not only can they do it better than two billion Africans on the planet you're saying they can do it better than all of the billions of Africans that have ever walked the planet earth you know and I know that that is absolutely ridiculous Dr. Umar please please first of all the one thing I want to know is and I think I need to google this where did you get your doctorate what makes you a doctor and then where did you come from and what makes you an authority on hip hop? Now, Eminem don't need Dr. Umar to tell him that he's one of the greatest of all time because we've already have said it. Hip hop is for everybody. Hip hop might have been created by black people, but the love of music, melodies and rhymes has spread all over this world. That's like saying Pun can't be one of the greatest of all time because he's not African-American, because he was Puerto Rican. Fat Joe don't deserve to be in hip-hop because he's not African-American. You weren't dead, Dr. Umar, respectively. You were not there. I wasn't even there in the very, very beginning of hip-hop. I wasn't there with Dougie and Mo D 
and the Crash Crew and Grandmaster Cass and Shaw Rock. I got on in 89 and was able to show those videos and help spread the gospel of hip hop around the world. I am highly respected in hip hop, way more than you, Dr. Umar. So who are you to be saying something like that about Eminem? To be talking about Eminem can't be a GOAT. That really fucking bothered me because Eminem is not only a dope ass MC, I consider Eminem a friend and I know how hard he worked. I, I, I completely disagree with him. I would have agreed with him if he said the most impactful and influential. It's it, it, it wouldn't make sense for a culture that's rooted or for music that's rooted in black culture for the most impactful and influential person to be someone who's white. But the skill of rapping and being the best rapper. Now, we're not talking about the most important hip hop artists of all time. We're not talking about the best hip hop artists of all time. If someone was to say they believe Eminem is best at the skill of rapping, I don't have a problem with it. By the way, it's just like. You know, uh, even though I'm pretty sure just to kind of give myself a counter argument while I make my argument, in a sense, I know I'm not arguing with no one, but I know he would probably say this isn't particularly rooted in tradition. But I mean, some could make the point that, say, for example, golf, that's something that is white culture, ain't it? Like that, ain't it, then white people, ain't golf, white people shit. Unless some black, <laughs> yo, niggas like Dr. Umar and Tariq Nasheed, like, they'll come out with some weird stat, like, yo, golf was actually created by a nigga on the plantation when he took a ball of cotton and he rolled it up and he hit it. Like, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, if golf is white people shit, I think white people would also admit that the best is Tiger Woods. I mean, somebody said Jack Nichols, but still, like, Tiger Woods, right? And it's just about the skill of being a golfer. It's just a skill. I think the skill of being just a rapper it doesn't matter what race, where you're from, it's just about the skill. And that's where I think if someone had a opinion that Eminem was the best rapper, I wouldn't have a problem with them saying it. Now, if someone said, um, let's stay on the Eminem thing, Eminem is the most, he's the most Part of Eminem, part of our culture, Dr. Umar. You can't look at Eminem as if he was a Mark Zuckerberg, and I love Eminem. Eminem loves me. He's mentioned me on the on the Grammys, wherever he was. He didn't have to say nothing about me, okay? And I'm not saying that about him because he said that. I'm saying this because it. what I'm saying is he was part of our culture. Now, moments ago, Dr. Umar will respond to DJ Academics, Ed Lover, and MC Shen via Instagram with a post that reads, You can't compare rap to golf academics because the latter has a clearly defined criteria for a championship and is not a cherished aspect of African culture. Yes, we certainly did invent the golf tee, and if you ever read a history book, you might know that. Bunny hopping for the white Jesus of rap isn't a good look on my Jamaican African family. So please, cut it out, Ninja. You come from the land of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, so start acting like Dr. Umar then responds to Ed Lover by saying, My dear brother Ed, are you serious? You question my credentials as to where I earned my doctoral degree because I stand unapologetically in defense of African culture against co-option, usurpation, and colonization by outsiders. I'm not the expert on hip-hop, but I am an expert on the exploitation of black culture by non-Africans. I said what I said and I meant every word of it. I'm pretty sure Mr. Mathers can speak for himself. He doesn't need Negro gatekeepers voluntarily playing defense attorney without being asked to do so. I never questioned the man's talent. I rejected any attempt to anoint him as the GOAT. I never personally insulted him. Your comments about Fat Joe and Big Pun make absolutely no sense as being Puerto Rican is a nationality and being Latino is ethnicity. Being African is a race and most Latinos are genetically of African origin. As far as your comments that hip hop is for everybody and that you consider Eminem a friend and that you know how hard he works, Sounds like some of the same old colorblind rhetoric that has allowed black culture and community to be exploited by outsiders as far as we can remember. Perhaps you should have been as vocal when Eminem was exposed years ago for putting out racist lyrics about our black women. 
Where was all this passion then, Mr. Lovell? Dr. Umar then responded to MC Shan saying, To my dear elder MC Shan, I grew up listening to you just as I spent my high school years listening to Ed Lovell on Yo! MTV Raps. Unfortunately, I must respectfully disagree with both of you elders. I must admit that it hurts my heart to see two icons rush to the defense of a non-African without him needing to utter a single word. Your comments that Eminem got in the culture because he was as ghetto as the rest of us and that Snow was as ghetto as I am clearly shows that we as people still haven't grasped a true understanding of white privilege and how it operates in America. Additionally, he mentioned me on the Grammys is a personal issue that has nothing to do with the protection of our culture. Your comments, Dr. Umar, I know you're on this black culture thing, but you're jumping on the wrong thing. Eminem was no Mark Zuckerberg. His plight was just as effed up as some of us in the black community. Were absolutely ridiculous and clearly shows that slave plantation, protectionism, politics still thrives within the hearts of the descendants of the enslaved. All right, now again, that was Dr. Umar responding to DJ Academics, Ed Lovin, MC Shine, defending Eminem after last week. Dr. Umar was on the Joe Budden podcast, and he states that he could never name Eminem as the goat of hip hop simply because he's a white man in black culture, or as Dr. Umar would say, non African. All right, and as, as we've seen, you know, people took offense to it, felt the need to come out and respond to Dr. Umar. And, you know, Umar said, you know what, let me spin the bin and, and try to explain to people that it's not personal. Right. This is just my need to protect the culture, black culture, right? African culture, as, as Dr. Ubal would call it. And, you know, I understand. I definitely believe that when speaking on this topic, Umar makes valid points. Right. And I see why people within the culture feel the need to always let it be known that this is our culture. And it's because in the past we've seen attempts of individuals try to whitewash Right or rewrite our history, you know. You see the you see the statue of of, of Nefertiti. They they you know what I'm saying they 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 dig it from the ground and the statue. They say this is you know who Nefertiti is supposed to be. We see the stories. We know it was a black woman, but the statue continues to get lighter and lighter over time. I mean, these are the things we see happen right in real life. So when somebody like Dr. Umar feels the need to let it be known, listen, this is our culture. Right. And if anybody going to be the goat, it's going to be our people. Listen, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Because, again, we're not the ones who, who benefit the most from the culture as we should. Now, we are right. Those who love hip hop, you know, especially black culture. We want to believe that no one loves hip hop more than us. Let's be real. Right. But when you go to these shows and these fest and these fest, all you see it's white people, right? So clearly they are consumer. They they do, you know, they, they do support hip hop, right, financially. I mean, come on, Eminem being one of the highest selling rappers of all time, we get that. However, how far does it go without the artists? You know what I mean? The, the creators within black culture. Without us, hip hop, I mean, damn, things would be different Right. The way of life would be different when you just think about it. So it's going to always be some conflict. Right. Whenever white people want to thrive in black culture, because you're never going to get the just do. You're never going to get the praise. Yeah, there may be some individuals who say, look, I like Eminem. I rock with him. But then, of course, no one is struggling what we up against. It's going to be hard to give it up when we got a whole line of talented people within our culture. They get overlooked every day. They don't get they just do. You know, that's where the frustration comes from. That's why somebody like Dr. Umar and others will come out proudly and say, hell no. Ain't no way in hell Eminem is the go to hip hop. Are you kidding me? In all fairness, Eminem has come out and, you know, named his top five. You know what I mean? He gives it up to the OG. So as far as I'm concerned, Eminem has never been a person to poke his chest out. We've known people. Uh, in the past who've used hip hop as a way to launch their music career. And they got so successful that they forgot about hip hop. You know, they get to a certain point of success. You forget they were even part of the culture. And that's how it is. We allow people to come in, exploit our culture, become successful, be become rich. While our, our legends, you die broke, right? Become memes, 
become jokes on the daily, right? Next thing you know, the fans say, oh, this individual's broken better. Listen, you got to understand, constantly being exploited, overused, underpaid. And if you notice, it ain't just hip hop. Wherever we are, wherever we generate the most money, it's like they still don't want to give us our just due. So, of course, somebody like Dr. Umar coming out, you know, stating his case as to why he could never name Eminem as the go to hip hop. Listen, respect to his opinion. I understand it. Like I said, where I come from, people didn't bump Eminem a lot. They recognized the fact that he had the ability to rap. But again, where we come from, everybody spit us. You know, it's just the fact that Eminem being a white MC, you know, coming into a, a culture that's predominantly black. Listen, they're going to make sure you. it's not easy for you. And Eminem, he showed you through battling. You know, he did everything he could, he could to gain the respect of his peers, black people within the culture. However, at the end of the day, this is still black culture. And as long as there are individuals who will constantly try to rewrite us, right, write us out of history, whitewash us from the history and our existence of what we've created, right, what we've invented, you know, Dr. Umar and others who, who, who have the same, you know, uh, ideology, right, or, or share the same viewpoint, Listen, you're going to always have uh, these conversations going back and forth, man. But listen, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts of Dr. Umar saying Eminem could never be the goat of hip hop? How do you feel about that? Do you do you disagree? Do you think that Umar uh, is, you know, going overboard when saying Eminem, you know, cannot be the, the goat of hip hop? Me personally, I think he makes valid points. Um, I, me, I can never make Eminem the goat of hip hop. But again, you know, we all have our own preference. Y'all let me know what's your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. Some names. Uh, somebody said right now Eminem is the king of rap. Why would you say he's not? You got to come with a better name. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, don't even, that ain't even worth. All right. Because I ain't playing Eminem in my car. Okay. You playing me yours? Uh, When he drops something, usually the week of. You sliding around playing Eminem in your car, you and your old lady? Nah, just Dolo. Like, <laughs> just Dolo playing Eminem, just, just metaphors. Yeah, boss. Just going boss, in. Boss, boss. Because there, there's something for every occasion. When you ride a Dolo, like, you well, know, you, you want it like... You hell. <laughs> <laughs>